hello viewers this is dikshit kumar given is the details of plumber block now let us do item number 6 7 and 8 that is nut m10 lock nut m10 and shaft so you can find the drawing in below description so let us start with nut m10 first so go to solid edge click on solid part so go to named views and set as iso now I'll be using sketch so select sketch select top reference plane so here I have to go to application then macro run macro so this is the inside polygon so if you don't know the path so just go to com my computer so C drive their program files their you have to find solid edge v19 so solid edge v19 their custom under custom you will find this n side polygon there you have to open bin in bin you will find n side polygon just open this so now i have to define the polygon for that let us understand what is width across flat so this is an hexagonal nut so for a hexagonal nut width across the flat will be 1.5d plus 3mm so that is nothing but so this length 1.5d plus 3mm is the width across the flats so before that we know that in our drawing so given is m10 for m10 so we have to calculate for m10 so for m10 it is 1 point it is 1.5 multiplied by d that is 10 so plus 3 mm so the answer is 18 so here here you can find this is half the length so i cannot enter 18 so it should be divided by 2 so that is 9 mm so radius from flat i have to enter as 9 so the number of sides is 6 so just click here i will zoom this so this length from here to here so this is nothing but width across a flat so that will become 18 so click on return and finish now select protrusion so it is select from sketch so select the default should be chain you have to select this sketch then click on accept then the protrusion should be symmetric extent so the thickness of the nut is 8 mm just enter 8 click on finish and cancel now i have to select a revolved cutout so make sure you'll be selecting right reference plane so if you select front reference plane you'll be getting only two face so that is not correct so after selecting revolved revolved cutout revolved cutout so you have to select right reference plane so i'll zoom this area now here i have to draw the cutting profile so it should be like this i'll fix the dimension so i'll maintain this as 2 mm I'll use mirror to copy this on the other side then at the end I have to set the axis of revolution so this will become axis of revolution click on return so just you have to revolve it to 360 degree click then finish cancel I'll just hide all the reference planes 
so you can see this also you can hide the sketch just right click on the sketch and say hide now you have to do the threaded portion inside so that is nothing but hole select hole you have to select this face then you have to go to hole circle hole option there it is a threaded one so the unit should be in mm the diameter of course it is m10 so the diameter is 10 so here thread the type automatically it will take as m10 now it is through all so just click on ok just click at the center so return set the direction finish cancel so this is nut m10 i'll set as iso I'll fit then i'll add the material so the material for the nut is fe 410 w let me copy this so apply to model i will save this the summary so this is nut yum 10 click on ok there i will save as nut yum 10 just save i'll close this so quickly we will make the item number 7 that is lock nut m10 it is very similar so click on solid part now go to named views and set as iso select sketch and select top reference plane now go to application macro run macro and set polygon so now we know this radius from flat is 18 by 2 that is nothing but 9 so number of side will be 6 just, just click here I'll zoom this so width across the flat is 18 that is nothing but 1.5d plus 3mm just click on return and finish now select protrusion so select from sketch chain you have to select this accept so this protrusion symmetric extent now the distance will be 5mm click finish cancel now you have to select the revolved cutout make sure you will be selecting right reference plane idea is to get this three phase now using line I have to draw the cutting profile let me maintain same dimension that is 2 mm select mirror select this and click here and you have to set the axis of revolution click on return angle will be 360 click here finish and cancel I will hide the reference plane I'll fit then right click on sketch and hide now I'll be taking hole I'll be selecting this face then whole circle whole option so this is a threaded one unit is in mm in diameter is 10 mm so default it should be m10 extent through all click on ok click at the center return so just click here finish cancel so let me put the material tools material table so i have copied that so paste here fe410w apply to model quickly save this so summary so this is lock nut 
lock nut m10 ok then here I have to save as lock nut m10 so just click on save so I will close this now at the end I will be making a shaft of diameter 25 so the length is not given so anyhow it should be more than the other sub assembly so let me fix that so go to solid part named views ISO protrusion front reference plane take circle and at the center draw a circle of diameter 25 so this is 25 click on return now protrusion symmetric extent let me fix the distance as 80 mm finish cancel at the end I'll do the chamfer of setback 2 mm so select the edges and accept finish cancel so let me add the material tool material table again it is FE410W apply to model I'll save summary so this is shaft I'll copy this okay so I'll paste here as shaft so save so we have completed three part nut lock nut and shaft thank you for watching